Hi, welcome to our lesson for today. We are focusing on systems technology and our topic is understanding data, information, knowledge and conclusion. Now what is it that we are going to focus on in this uh, topic is we're going to look at the role and use of data. Now the first thing that we need to understand is data is actually a single fact that has no meaning. Now if you understand, if I'm talking about data, it means it's just a fact with no meaning. Now once you understand what data is, now data plays a very huge role in research and findings because it gives use uh, sorry, it gives us the, the ability to explore things that we did not know before. Now, when you get data, you obviously have to still go through this data and sift through and actually uh, try to process this data. Now, once this data has been processed, it becomes information. Now, before we can even look at what is information, now you obviously know that you gather data, you sift throughout this information, and then once this data has been processed and analyzed and has meaning, then we can say it's information. So when you define information, you would say it is data that has been processed, analyzed, and now has meaning or value. Right, the next one is knowledge. Now what is knowledge? Knowledge is actually information. Now, what type of information? Information that has been processed, and now you can use this information in order to reason, to reflect, as well as make an understanding out of this information. Now, if you have information, but you're still not able to actually make an understanding out of this, it's not really knowledge yet, because it means that you still need to uh, clarify some facts there, still need to analyze and take out what is correct and what is not correct in order for you to actually say now you have knowledge. All right, then moving on to conclusion as well as decision. Now, once you have gathered your data, you will obviously analyze this data in order for you to have information. Now after you have information, now this information will be processed so that you can have knowledge. Now when someone has knowledge, now it allows you to make a decision and make a conclusion. Now what we call decision and conclusion simply means that is taking action now based on knowledge. So now you would obviously take an action based on what you have known from doing your research. Now this allows one to conclude and act because now you have knowledge about the subject. So sometimes it becomes very difficult for you to make a conclusion because you don't have enough knowledge. But now once you have this knowledge, after you know getting all this data and being processed into information, it makes it easier for you to make a decision. And that is it for our lesson today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.